So this is just a short video to uh, highlight some of the um, challenges and changes uh, with regards to this uh, Alpha. Um, I just climb up here. So basically, uh, if I just briefly explain, we've got a carbon air box I've loosely uh, taken out here. So I'll just remove that. Now, this car is a bit mental in that every single item on it is practically uh, a one-off. So um, it was designed primarily as a race car, although it wasn't really used much as a race car. It was designed, built, used on about five sessions. Um, but I want to uh, turn it into a road car. So um, what my intention is really, um, just put some light. It's got a very trick throttle system set up here. So if we look, we've got uh, individual throttle bodies and uh, half the problem I open this up. Uh, see, it's very difficult to see with this lighting. Um, you can see here the injectors, they're top mounted like Formula One cars of old. And uh, the, the, the path for the uh, fuel is effectively, it's got to go through, through the injectors, through the uh, uh, throttle butterfly, all the way down the inlet manifold. And this is where the original um, injectors would have sat. So for high RPM settings, it's, it's perfectly uh, adequate. The, the engine will suck the fuel through. You've got the, the butterflies wide open. So the, the fuel uh, will flow perfectly fine. Um, but for low idle settings, uh, low throttle settings in idle, um, it, it becomes a massive problem. So the drivability uh, side of things, if you look, the throttle butterflies are hardly open, so that, that fuel is effectively squirting directly onto the uh, the face of the uh, valves. So my idea is now um, to come up with a, a completely new design, and uh, I've got to implement that. And half the problem is, if you look here, there's a chamber, and again this is all one-off, with a uh, map sensor, so a manifold absolute pressure sensor, and it's taken the pressures from these four points here, where is uh, the original um, injectors used to sit. Now what I want to do is either fit a set of injectors directly into the manifold here or in the original positions um, but in doing so due to the way this throttle's been set up it's going to cause me no end of problem because there's, there's no clearance there. Uh, so I've got to redesign this whole throttle. Um, basically I need to get about seven centimeters of clearance here and there isn't at the moment so I'm gonna to have to change this whole system and it's really quite a complicated lovely design you can see the the actuation there um, so I've got to measure the radial angle that this moves in relation to the the lit or almost linear movement of, of this rod here uh, and then find a way effectively moving all of this out of the way uh, possibly mounting on the on the lower side here I don't know I've come up with a, a little sketch here with some ideas so that's that's currently how the car is um, and one idea is this 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 whole assembly plate that the throttle pulley sit on to twisting this round like like I've tried to draw here so that they uh, I, I gain clearance that way or another way is possibly ditch the whole upper end um, as you can see on this this drawing here so effectively this this front, um, butterfly here I'll pull this back slightly and mount mount this rod here from say uh, twist this around so it's 180 degrees to where it is now and mount it to the bottom end and then ditch this you can see the cable run currently goes like this around here and then through the cable, ditch that. So I, I pull the cable in the opposite direction and then change the uh, throttle position sensor. There's a prop throttle position sensor underneath. Rewire the whole lot. And, um, it's just gonna cause me a massive headache, but that's really the only way I can think of adding the, the drivability elements that you know I want in a road car. Um, it, it's just such a unique design. Uh, every single thing I touch and do is, uh, is a bit tricky. But anyway, that's some insight into some of the changes or some of the uh, engineering design changes that need to be uh, implemented.
Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get around to doing a, a more thorough full video of the car at some point, but I'm still working in chunks at the minute, so uh, okay, thanks.